Hey you guys, it's Jingy Crafter here, and we are here with the Minecraft PC 1.9 snapshot. Or, in other words, Minecraft 15W31C. Now, I actually already recorded this, but I deleted it from my channel because for some reason I rechecked the video, and it got st stuck on some huge random thing with, like, the shulker. It was so weird. But if you haven't seen that video yet, then that's absolutely peachy. We're going to delete this. We're going to make it again. 1.9. There. Let's put it in creative. And we have to go into super flat world, or this is going to lag me extremely bad. Now, you guys, this already does lag me, so don't hate because it's laggy. Please, because that's just plain rude. <laughs> okay, so. Welcome to Technical 1.9 with Springtrap. Now, you guys, since last time, I actually saw YouTuber Log.Zip do some stuff with the snapshots. Or, not him, but, uh. Swimming bird one four nine four one yeah swimming bird <laughs> and he actually did some stuff that I actually didn't know about so let's do this first of all we have some new blocks here at the bottom that you can see we have the purper blocks and the purper blocks and this baby over here the endstone bricks now. Did I just switch those around in my hotbar? That was weird. But these can all be found in the new end dungeons. And I would go to... Wow, the texture is kind of weird there. Look, it's like switched around. That's weird. Is it supposed to be like that? I guess it is. Oh, that, that annoys me. That annoys me. Okay. Now, you guys, of course, I would love to go to the end and fight the Ender Dragon for you guys because the end has been completely revamped. But, sadly, I just can't. Because it'll lag me too much. I'm very sorry about that. Otherwise, I would. But, yeah, these are the new blocks. They're awesome. Now, let's go to the decoration blocks. Where we can find... Some more new stuff. And this music is absolutely amazing. This tune is actually called Dryton, I think. Which is awesome. Yeah. Um. You can already see. We have. End rods. Coarse plants. Coarse flowers. And dragon heads. That's right. There are dragon heads now. Now. Probably wondering. Why am I getting a lever? Well, you will see here in a couple minutes. But this is the end rod. Now, this is basically a light source that you can find in the end. You can stack it up and down. You can also stack it sideways. It's awesome. And they have the same amount of light as glowstone does, which is awesome. Now, this is why I grabbed the end stone. This is the chorus plant. Now, you can harvest these to get the new fruits, which can be found in the end. When it just broke. But this is it. The chorus fruit. And I will show you these here in a couple minutes. But, if you take... You can harvest these. You can grow them in any dimension... The nether, the overworld, the end. I would highly recommend not doing it in the nether or the end. But, <laughs> um, in order to harvest them, you don't take the, you don't take these. You don't take those. You take the coarse flower. And in order to get to that, you will have to either A, levitate to the top of the plant using a wink wink new mob. Or, just climb to the top. And if you place this end flower and end stone, it would eventually start to grow. So, we're going to do game rule random T 
pick speed. 5,000. So. That should make this grow super fast. So we're done with those. Now, the dragon head. You can actually get this from the ender dragon now. Which you can't in this snapshot. But, they're probably going to add it soon. And if you power it. The mouth moves, which is awesome. I actually found that out yesterday, which is kind of cool. Also, of course, like any other mob head, you can also wear the dragon head. And I guess my head is basically made of redstone because when I walk, the mouth moves. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So, of course, that is not all. We have nothing new in these, but in the miscellaneous, you may notice something brand spanking new. The Shulker. Now, the Shulker is, like, one of the best mobs ever, to be honest. I think it might be kind of buggy, I don't know. But, the Shulker is basically an Enderman 2.0. Because it can teleport, however, it shoots particles at you along the X and Y axis only. It doesn't go diagonal. It doesn't go diagonal at all. But it will keep following you like the particles will. And when they hit you, it gives you a levitation effect. Which is kind of cool. So, whoa, that bugged out there for a second. But this is the shulker. Oh, there's two right there. That's not normal. Let's kill those guys, because otherwise you may see some new stuff there. We will talk about that here in a few minutes. Are you even dying? Oh, did you see it teleported there? Yes, get away out of my sight. Hey, I see you. Okay, but yes. This is the new Shulker mob. And this thing is absolutely amazing. If we go into game... Game mode. Zero. P gamma. Game mode zero. As the music stops. But this is what he does. He shoots these little particles at you. And they make you levitate. And if you didn't notice, you can actually see what potion effects you have now. But you can hit these to get them to go away. It's not working out for me right now. Now, go into game mode 1 before I die. And, of course, I'm still levitating. So you don't have to go into here to see your potion effect anymore. You can see it over here. The negative ones are on the bottom. And the positive ones, like for the potion effects, are on the top. And they'll blink. And the f faster that they blink the closer they are to wearing off. Which is cool. And I think that the ones that are closest to wearing off are furthest to the right, I think. I think. But yeah, that's the Shulkers. And they, and I think that your attacks reduce by... He died while he teleported. But they, I think they reduce by 80% when you try to attack them when their shells down. And if you didn't know this, um, Shulker is actually short for Shell Lurker, which is kind of cool. Now in here, it's not much new stuff, but we have Beetroot and Beetroot Soup. Now I'm not going to go too much into this, because, um, and these are the seeds right here. What? Oh, oh I didn't know you could do that. That's cool. You learn something every day. Okay. Now. We need a hoe. I like how they're just by themselves. Okay. So, what you can do is you can plant these. Can I plant these? Let me plant these. Please. Please. Guys, it's a not being good. Nope. Not at all. I don't know, but 
You can plant these. They're being kind of buggy at the moment. I guess I can't place them. But when you grow them, it grows into one of these, which is a beetroot. And you know it's fully grown because it's kind of pink and green and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. And you can eat these. They only give you one hunger, like one shank of hunger. And these, the beetroot soup, if you craft it, like if you put it this in a crafting table and you take a bowl and you put and you put it on the like you take the bowl put it on the bottom middle and you put thir you put six beetroots above it you get beetroot soup and it only restores three hunger shanks which is not that good so yeah but if you farm the beetroot plant it will give you the seeds and the beetroot if it's fully grown so, there's nothing new in the combat, but if we look here, you can actually see quite a few new things. We've got new elemental arrows. Now, I'm not going to go into these at all, I'm not going to fire these, but what these do, they're basically arrows that have potion effects. Now, there's no way to craft them at the moment, which kind of stinks. Oh my gosh, did they actually add the, they actually added that, okay. Um, there's one that's super weird, to be honest. Can't find it. Where is it? Where are you? There's one. Where is it? I don't know, it's lagging me, so it's taking 20 minutes to look through these. Did they remove it? They remove it? Yeah, they must have removed it. They used to have an arrow. They used to have a water bottle arrow. But this is the spectral arrow. This does not have a potion effect. No. But what we can do. Let's get one of these new shulkers up in here. Put it down right there. Oh yeah, when they have their shell on, then they're resistant to arrows. But as you can see, the spectral arrow will outline any player or mob that you hit. And you can see it through blocks. Now tell me that's not awesome. Now that's mainly used for teams. And I think it's great for Hunger Games, to be honest. That's actually really cool. So that's all there. Now if we go here, the potions are kind of buggy at the moment. They're all purple or blackish or something like that but if you haven't noticed they have splash potions of water bottles which is kind of weird mundane potions thick potions and awkward potions none of these have effects <laughs> but something that can be used that you can't something that you can use this water bottle one for so if we get some netherrack and we get flint and steel. This is something cool that you can do. We'll light this on fire. And if you take a splash water bottle, you can actually throw it at the fire. And it puts the fire out, which is kind of cool. Now, I don't think any of those ones have potion effects at the moment, so I have no idea what those are for, but, hey. <laughs> now, the coarse fruits and the popped coarse fruits. Now, you're probably wondering, what do these do? Well, here's what a coarse fruit, coarse fruit does. Now, hopefully, those creepers over there won't see me. But, we have to be super careful right now. You can eat the coarse fruit, and you probably already saw how you farm it, because I already showed that to you. Now, if this stops lagging me for two seconds, I can show you what this does. Game mode zero. But. Really? Really? Just like.
Stop hitting me! Right. God dang it! Guys. I don't like shelters. I know I called them the best mob ever. Ever. They're the best mob ever. I got the baby voice today because it's so sweet, soothing. I think I actually did that in my five minutes of Freddy video. Come on, I'm hitting G. Get that shift for me. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. I'm not gonna just drink milk. Unless it's like really bad. Drop me down. But fine, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna explain to you what this course fruit does. Unless I can actually get this to stop lagging. I'm sorry. I'm having a rough day. Like and it is only 941 in the morning. Oh wow. That stinks. I live in America, so, yeah. <laughs> the time is different. It is about time that you stop lagging. <sighs> Guys, I'm going to flip out. Jeez. Why do I have a dragon head? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I know why. I know why! We don't need that. Okay. But, if you're in survival, you can, even if your hunger is full, I think you can eat these, these chorus fruits. But, they're super dangerous sometimes. You want to be super, super careful. I'm about to punch my lights out if I screw up my words one more time. But, with these chorus fruits, they can teleport you when you eat them. They will teleport you. They, um, I think they have a 32 by 32 block radius, so. Now this is the popped chorus fruit. Now this is what you use to make these purper blocks. Now, to get the popped chorus fruit, it's like popcorn. You put the chorus fruit in a furnace, and voila. It's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. But yeah, I'm not going to put it in a furnace. So, yeah. Now. You remember the spectral arrows? I forgot I was going to show you the crafting recipe. Because those, unlike the potion arrows, you can currently craft a spectral arrow. So let's get a crafting table up in here. This is how you do it. Put the arrow... And then you surround that with four pieces of glowstone dust. And you get two spectral arrows. You get two arrows from one arrow. That's how that makes sense. I don't know. But of course that's not all. If we get iron bars and glass panes. Now you're probably thinking, Gin. What is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? I have a good reason for this. Oh, of course they're right next to each other. Okay, but... Now, they have actually changed these iron bars and glass panes. To where if they're single, it will just be like a pole, basically. Which is something new. Now, if you put them together, they will be normal. So, I mean, they're always normal, but... But yeah, it also works the same for colored glass, glass pane, stuff like that. It's, I actually really like that. It's kind of cool. That's not all, though. No, not even close. Now, if we get a redstone, I guess there technically is something new here, but not really. If we get some trapdoors, we help out. You no longer, there's an enderman. He's attracted, oh yeah, this is the chorus plant, by the way. It grew. This is what it looks like. See, so you have to climb to the top and get those flower blocks, which I think it's that's actually it right there. So, but trapdoors no longer do you need to have a block to place them on. You can simply place them on the ground. 
Same thing for iron trapdoors, which I actually like that. That's actually super useful. That I know of. I think that is not all. Let's get a beetroot. Let's get an apple. Let's get a clownfish. Let's get a pickaxe. And let's get a torch. You're probably thinking, what? Why did you get this stuff? Are you going to like mix them all in a cauldron or something? Are you going to throw them all on the ground? Is it going to give you a dragon head? No. Probably thinking, why did I just make this hole? No reason. Just kidding. Now, these days, I'm sure a lot of people are going to hate Minecraft for this because there's a lot of guys, like Minecraft veterans who used to love Minecraft that I know, but they don't like it anymore because of all the new features. This will definitely, I can already tell, it's going to be something that a lot of people are going to hate Minecraft for. You can do a wheel. <laughs> That's awesome. But, as you can see... The Enderman made me lag. But, it's not it. Okay. See, if you right click, you use this item. Or, I don't know if that's your offhand or what. But, whatever. If you left click, it uses this item. Now, if the item that... If the, if the item in this hand can be right clicked or left clicked on something and it does something, then... It wet, even if this can be right clicked, it won't use it. Like what? Yeah. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> oh boy. Can you just break this dirt block before I smash you, Mr. Computer? Oh man. I'm, I'm talking to inanimate objects. I'm going insane, you guys. But. Let's say you're going on a mining spree in a flat world, I guess. But no, you can do this anywhere. But, um, I'm hating this. I'm hating this. Hating it. Finally! But Jesus! Buh! Jesus. Guys. Literally about to slash kill. I'm gonna have to do slash kill eventually. There's something brand new. When you die! You may have already seen it actually. When I died to that shulker. I'm sorry, you guys. This computer is. <sighs> okay, here, I'm just gonna explain it then. Because this computer sucks. What you can do. You can place a torch and mine at the same time. Okay? It's as simple as that. I think I'm literally just going to have to explain the rest of the snapshot. Because this is ridiculous. To be honest. But yeah. That's what you can do. I'm not even going to try to do that again. Nope. Okay, here. See, look. You can just do that. It's awesome. Oh, we could have just done that. But yeah, you can do a wheel now. It's awesome. And of course, you can simply do that by hitting the F key normally. Unless you happen to change it. And I think there's another way you can do it, but I don't like it. So, now. If you go to skin customization here in the settings, you see this. You can change your main hand to be from right to left. Kind of to make those left-handers, um, like, 
it's more to their perspective, you know. It's probably what it's for, like, honestly, I don't really like that. Like, I mean, it's cool, but I just don't want to have. I just don't want to have a left hand in Minecraft. Like, I'm, I am right-handed in my, in real life, to be honest. Now, I could have sworn there was some, oh yeah. Let's do slash kill. Now, as you can see, Jinget Crafter just fell out of the world. But wait, why does it say it there? That's right, the death messages actually come up when you die now, which is awesome. I like that. And, okay, everything's over here. Now, other things in the snapshot include the end. You can actually spawn in the ender dragon if you make a creeper face out of clay. You have to watch some other YouTubers for that, because I'm not going to spawn in the ender dragon. Or this is going to crash, more than likely. Also, the end has the new course plants. It has the new dungeons and stuff. The dungeons also have little warships or whatever outside of them, which is pretty cool. So, is there anything that I am missing? I don't think so. Wait. I'm just kidding. But that's what that was called. Mm. Awkward. But, yeah, I don't think there's anything else. So, you guys, if you enjoyed the... Oh, yeah, shields are not out yet, but they will be. So, are you able to steal a sword block at the moment? Yes, you can. They're probably going to remove that when they add the shields. But, you guys, if you enjoyed this little snapshot review, please leave a like and a good comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Oh, we're not over yet. Unlike other people, pardon that, that's, this is mainly my mom's computer, so, I can't change the background to anything, so, um, like, yeah, I'm making myself sound so dumb right now, <laughs> um, it's actually very simple to get a snapshot. It's not at all complicated. I'm going to scoot you closer so you can see this. Now, if you go down here, uh, you see this profile thing. You can't see it on the video right now because it stinks. But if you go down there and go to Edit Profile, this will come up. Name it Snapshots and enable this first box right here. This one right here. Then hit... S then... These are the Snapshots. These three, right here, these top three. Choose one of those. More than likely, you're going to choose 15W31C because that's the newest one. And then hit Save Profile. And voila, you can go to Snapshots. But yeah, it, you guys, it's actually as simple as that. So, if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, please subscribe. This has been Jingate Crafter. See